In this clip, we're going to look at the sign rule as an in-context application. And here we've got a plane descending and a runway. A plane is descending towards a horizontal runway. The horizontal just means, here it is here, horizontal, zero degrees, and its length is 3620 meters. The angle of elevation, scary bit, of the plane from the far end of the runway is 11 degrees, and the angle of elevation of the plane from the near end of the runway is 114. I'm taking this to be near, because it's closer to the plane, and this one here is far. Calculate the distance from the plane to the near end of the runway. Give your answer to the nearest meter. Okay, so we're looking for this distance here. And we have some angles. A key point is the angle of elevation is the angle that's measured upwards. So E is here in the triangle if you're standing here looking up. So that's why this one here, this is the near end, this is 14 degrees. Angle as you look up. And when you're on the far end of the runway here, the angle is 11 degrees. So they're the two bits of information that you have to provide from the question. And then we get back to, we're looking for this here. How far is it from the plane to this red dot here? Now, it's all very straightforward and easy because I have a great picture. If this here is 14 degrees, then this is 180 minus 14 degrees, which is 166. Most people know that when you add up the three angles in the triangle, you get 180 degrees. Excellent. 166 plus 11 plus the angle up here that I've called D is equal to 180. Subtract 166 and 11 from 180 and you get D equal to 3. So this is pretty fantastic. So this here is 3 degrees. This here is 3620 meters. This here is the distance, and I've called it x now, so I'm saying let's find the value of x. And then we're using the sine rule, which is a over sine a equals b over sine b equals c over sine c if you wanted it. I don't need it here, but I'm just writing it down. So then it's x over the sine of 11, this distance here over the sine of this angle, and then this distance here over the sine of this angle. So x over the sine of 11, x over the sine of 11, is equal to 3620 over the sine of 3 degrees. If you look at that, you could say there x is simply 3620 times the sine of 11 degrees all over the sine of 3 degrees. And if you tap that into your machine, be careful, make sure you're in degrees there, then you come up with this as the answer. Slon.